cutting time is the time required for the formation of the first fibrin strand. For the slide method and capillary method, you need lancet, cotton, 70% alcohol, timer, clean glass slides for slide method, and non-heparinized capillary tubes for capillary method. To perform the slide method, first, do a capillary puncture. Place a drop of blood at the center of a clean slide and start the timer. At 30 seconds interval, let a needle or lancet pass through the blood drop. See to it that you move the needle or lancet upward very gently. Observe for the formation of the first fibrin strand. Once this fibrin strand is noted, stop the timer. The time that elapsed is taken as the clotting time. The normal value for the slide method is 2 to 4 minutes. To perform the capillary method, first, collect blood at the capillary puncture. Fill up a non-heparinized capillary tube and start the timer. At 30 seconds interval, break off a piece of the capillary tube gently. Take note of the formation of a fibrin strand that fills in the gap between the capillary tube and a broken piece. The time that elapsed is taken as a clotting time. The normal value for the capillary method is 2 to 6 minutes. Coagulation time is the time required for whole blood to clot. Some materials needed for the Lee and White whole method are 3 5 ml glass test tubes, disposable syringe with needle, timer, water bath. First, prepare three clean test tubes and label each as test tube 1, 2, and 3. Perform venipuncture and collect 4 ml of blood. Carefully place 1 ml of blood in test tube number 3, in test tube number 2, and test tube number 1. Start the timer as soon as the blood is placed in test tube number 3. Discard the last 1 ml of blood. Place the test tubes in a 37 degree Celsius water bath. At exactly 5 minutes, tilt test tube number 1 gently to a 45 degree angle. Repeat the procedure every 30 seconds until the test tube can be completely inverted without spilling the contents. Do the same in test tube number 2, then test tube number 3. The coagulation time of test tube number 3 is the reported result. The normal value for the Lee and White whole method is 7 to 14 minutes. Bleeding time is the time required for bleeding to stop. Some materials needed for the Duke's method are clean glass slide, lancet, timer, filter paper, 70% alcohol, cotton, Sterilize the patient's middle finger with 70% alcohol. Allow about one minute to elapse so that the finger will dry. Using a stereo blood lancet, puncture the finger to about 2 to 3 cm deep and start the stopwatch. Do not wipe the first drop of blood. Blot the blood with a filter paper every 30 seconds by lightly touching the edge of the blood drop. Stop the watch when the blood is no longer absorbed into the filter paper. The normal value for the Duke's method is 2 to 5 minutes. Clot refraction time is the time required for blood to shrink. The materials needed for the McFarland modification are test tube, steering rod fitted into a cork, test tube rack, materials for venipuncture. To begin, Collect blood for venipuncture. Place 5 to 8 ml of blood on a clean test tube. Cover the test tube with cork to which a steering rod is fitted. Allow the setup to stand in a vertical position on a test tube rack. Once the blood has retracted or the blood clings into the steering rod, remove the cork containing the steering rod and the retracted blood. Centrifuge the remaining serum in the tube so as to eliminate the remaining cells. Measure the volume of the serum yielded. Compute for the percent retractility of the sample using the formula of 
percent retractility is equal to volume of serum divided by the volume of the blood used times 100. The normal value for the McFarlane modification is 44 to 67 percent. 